Okay, old git here. Let's see how we get on with this. Today I started my six week training program with Trainer Road. Um, seems to be going pretty slow. That's me, Trainer Road. I have a missed. That's me. So, the first one that you do in this uh, six week low volume sweet spot base training. Up a bit, up a bit. That's the one. Yeah, the first workout you do is an eight minute test to determine your functional threshold power. Uh, it has to be done, I'm afraid, pretty tough, but it's used then for every single workout in your six week program. So there's no getting away from it. Uh, this is what I did. It's really slow. Eight minute test. Now you can see the test here, the two intervals, block of eight minutes as fast as you can go or as hard as you can go. This was done using the Cyclops Fluid 2 which is basically virtual power, not the actual power meter. The actual power meter I used and recorded on my Garmin Edge 500. But you can see the virtual power there starts way up at 300 odd and goes down to 240 by the end and I can assure you that's not the way it went on the actual power if we go into Sport Tracks Moby you can see there's the two 8 minute ones there intervals and we'll actually go into the interval click it up to get it Focused in on the actual intervals. Uh, there's one of 7.58, one of 8.36. That's because I didn't press the lap button in time to stop it and recorded me doing nothing. So we've got now down to power. And there you go. 234 watts average over that 8 minutes. Um, I'm not sure what it said. Virtual power. 270 odd I think. Uh, how do we look at that down to yeah that's the first one there 276 it's showing virtual power not actual power that's based on the speed you're doing on the turbo trainer second one 273 there so we go back to this one yeah 234 I got for the first one and for the second one interval of 8 minutes it's 228 so 234, 228 we need to work out what my FTP is from that so add them both together divide by 2 to get the average of the two and then the virtual power the functional threshold power is actually 90% of that result so 207.9 let's call it 208 I did it a month or so ago and it was 206 so it is up slightly but I haven't actually been knocking my guts in the past month I've actually started doing a bit of running but more of that in a later video and that's the worrying thing there the uh, virtual power not sure if I want to be using virtual power if that's the way it goes you'll end up having to push harder and harder and harder I think to maintain the power that you think you're doing this is uh, over at Strava there's the laps there, that's the first one the first interval 100% according to the Strava power curve that I built up over the past year 216 for the second one but as I say, I forgot to stop it, so there's 36 seconds of me doing nothing. Uh, definitely Sport Tracks Moby and the actual Sport Tracks desktop software are great. You can go into minute detail, get great results with it. Loads of numbers, spend three hours looking at the numbers, great. 